As someone who grew up watching Harry Potter, this one really got to me. Uh, Snape was always a favorite of mine. I always thought uh, Alan Rickman as Snape was arguably one of the best castings in those films, and he gave arguably one of the best performances in those films, especially the final one. But, yeah, this, this really did get to me. Um, you know, first David Bowie and now Alan Rickman. A coincidence, they're both, they were both 69 years old and they both died of cancer. Just saying. But, uh, yeah, in other movies he's also been in Love Actually. I don't know how many times I've watched that movie with my mom. And uh, Die Hard, Hans Gruber. And all plenty of other stuff he's been in, but... You know, for me, yeah, I'm always going to know him as Cerberus Snape, as many others will. Uh, and yeah, he's also in Sweeney Todd. Uh, but yeah, it's just, uh, it's just sad when I think about it. You know, it's weird when I think about, like, when you think of actors and, and like, just the roles they do, you know, they're immortalized in film, but stuff like this is just a grim reminder of how, I guess, we're all just human at the end of the day. Um, that might have sound super depressing, but it's just eh, how I kind of see it. But, um, yeah, I'm deeply saddened, uh, Thoughts go out to his friends and family, to uh, all his co-stars of all his movies, um, and uh, yeah, not sure what else to say. Um, I'm just at a loss for words at this point. I just woke up this morning. I'm like, all right, Oscar nominations. What are they? And then I go on Facebook, and it's like Alan Rickman dead. I'm like, oh, oh, yeah. But, that's all I have to say, Alan Rickman, you will be very much missed, you will not be forgotten. We have loads of films for you to be immortalized by, and uh, may you live on forever in our, in our hearts. Alright, see you guys later.